Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are using this book called Turn This Book Into a Beehive by Lynn Burnell and it is absolutely awesome. We really love it. The projects are super simple and fun to make and the best part about this book is that you can turn it into a beehive. So we're going to be working on a couple of projects that help us understand how bees transfer pollen from one flower to another. So this is a super easy and kind of delicious project to do. You just need a couple of containers that are deep enough where you can get your fingers through. You need some tissue paper that I'm just cutting a small hole in and I'm just going to use a rubber band to secure it in place. Now you want at least two or more of these containers available for the children to put their fingers in and transfer pollen from one plant to another. Now I'm using Cheetos, but it's recommended that you use the Puff Cheetos or some kind of other chip that's more uh, puffy but this is what we had on hand and this is what we did so we didn't get as good of results as you would have gotten with a puffier chip but we still got to enjoy a tasty treat while learning something about bees and how they transfer pollen from one plant to another you're going to be able to see that there are a few little bits of the cheese left on the tissue around where we put our fingers in in order to grab the chips and this is significant because this is what happens when bees are going from one plant to another some pollen gets onto their bodies and then it gets transferred to another flower so this was a really practical demonstration to show how that happens now I have another project to share with you based on the same book surrounding the same topic about how bees get pollen from plants. Now this is a really fun demonstration as well. Not as tasty, but still just as educational. You're going to need some plastic wrap that you're going to put on over a container. You want to make it nice and tight around the edges. And I'm just doing this with a glass container, so I don't really need a rubber band to secure it in place, but it does advise that you use a rubber band in order to secure your plastic wrap in place. Next, I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to draw a small circle in the center. And then I'm going to add some spices in the middle. The book advises to use cinnamon, but I had some garlic powder on hand. You just want to make sure it's really fine. Next, you're going to place your mouth near the edge of the rim of the bowl or right directly on the bowl and you're going to hum. And it really does disrupt those spices, which are acting as pollen and it moves it around. It's a fabulous demonstration that even for an adult was pretty exciting to see. Now it does take a little practice getting the hum just right and I found that it was a little bit more challenging for my daughter who is eight years old to get just the right frequency in order to disrupt the spices and move them outside that circle. And we drew the circle just so that you can see that it really moves when you hum and this demonstrates how when a bee is buzzing, it disrupts the pollen so that it can get onto its body, go to another plant. I hope that you enjoyed this project. If you want to see some of the other projects we're doing with our bee unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. That link is also down in the description box below. And don't forget that if you want to see what our homeschool looks like on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.